Most serial killers are motivated by power. That's at the core of everything. And it's control over life and death. It's an enjoyment of victim sufferings. And oftentimes there is an intermingling, a blending of sexual drives with the power needs. So serial killers typically will have a preferred victim that under ideal circumstances for them, meaning opportunity, that they would select. But the fact that he's choosing people close by, that's convenient. It also lessens the chances that he's going to be caught in some ways because he's got a reason for being there in the neighborhood. The risk factor for him on the other side, though, is police are naturally gonna look close by. Surveilling and stalking a victim and repeated visits before the actual offense of killing the victim serves a lot of needs that the offender may have. He may imagine that he has a relationship with the victim. Um, he may be envisioning scenarios um, while he's out there watching and coveting them. He may also be getting the thrill of the hunt and getting away with it. The transition from watching to actually implementing those violent fantasies is often based upon the fact that just simply fantasizing isn't good enough anymore. The cooling off period is very much the offender regrouping. He's gonna be figuring out what he liked about it, what was frustrating, what was scary, if he almost got caught, how he can avoid that. And so you will find that in that cooling off period, they will be thinking about how it can be better.